Hello everybody, this is Cryptic Nexus. I'm at work again, so you can't see my face, but you can see Steve's. Hi guys. Anyways, um, so today we have a soft comfy bed for Steve. No, not really. Uh, we have a Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 case. So, it come in a Chinese white bag and had this wrap around it. I threw the bag away because all it was was an address. Basically, that was it. Had a little foamy in it. That was it. Here is the case. So, uh, let's open it. There we go. Just rip off the top. Fuck it. I don't need the bag. And... Fucking get out of... Okay. Okay, so we have a big and a little heat sink. So this is definitely made for the two, but since the three has the same form factor, they include the three. And we have some screws and a, oh, four little rubber feet to go there. Oh, screws. Oh, yeah. This comes with a fan. Oh, there's the fan. It is, if we can focus on this, let's look how little that thing is. It is a whopping, it's a 5 volt DC fan, but to compare it to Steve here, let's bring in his feet. Alright, so, yeah, it's, it's about one, it's about a half a Steve high. <laughs> Sorry, um, I think it's a 20 mil fan. Let's see. Oh no. Wow. Oh wait. I'm on centimeters. Where's your bear? So it's a 27 mil fan. Really? Let me flip it over to the flat side. I'm going to say they say this is a 30. Okay. So, we have a 30 mil fan that connects up to here. Does it slide on? Quit, quit moving. Going, doing this through a viewfinder really sucks. Oh. Does it go this way? Okay, yeah, it has to go that way because it just fell on there. So that, does, it, does it go this way? Can it go this way? Because I'd honestly blow, rather blow air in than out. Uh, Aha! I just didn't have it lined up and oh, it fits a lot better that way. Cool! So I'm gonna guess that's what these screws are for to lock that into place. And then we have uh, one screw hole on the bottom. Really? Oh, oh, oh. The, there's extra screws to screw your Pi into the case. Okay. Now I get ya. Now I get ya. But, I didn't buy this for the Pi. I already have a fairly nice case that looks a lot like that on the end of it. What I bought this for was 
Let me make a grand entrance. Ba da da da. My chip. So, my chip doesn't run that warm, as you can tell, but I thought it would be fun to uh, put it into a actively cooled uh, case because I do not need access to the USB ports. Oop, actually, it would go this way. Yeah because the fans on the opposite side see fans there because I don't want to get rid of that but I would like a little bit of air to go across it so that would hopefully this thing isn't super rattly and noisy and puts out a decent amount of air um, even just a little bit to circulate the air inside the case and uh, around the heat sink here um, and then on the sides I'm just I'd never used the USB port on this thing I've never found a use for it because it has built-in Wi-Fi on the other side uh, right there that's built-in Wi-Fi so I've never found a use for the USB port other than Uh, nothing. I've, ne I've honestly never used it because I've never had to. It has the four gigs of onboard flash memory and that's all I need because uh, what I use it for is a Minecraft server. So I just need to have it run cool. That's really about it. So my idea is since this is made for Raspberry Pi is I got some strips of Velcro here that I'm going to put on my headers and then just Velcro it down because I don't need the headers either. I literally just need a board that has memory, uh, preferred Ethernet, and a processor that's it so it's getting permanently mounted in here basically and uh, to power the 5 volt fan I'm going to be using not this side but this side the 5 volt VCC 5 volt and ground they're right there so I'm just gonna solder two extension leads onto this side to make it taller uh, with rigid uh, metal and then just slide the thing on and it should power the fan should if it doesn't I'll finagle something up but whatever and as you can see the heat sinks not on with any thermal glue it's just on with uh, MX4 thermal paste so it doesn't really get that hot it, it does without a heat sink with this it doesn't but I don't know this thing was really cheap and I couldn't pass it up so I, I wanted to get it cool bed for Steve to sleep in it even got a built-in fan man anyways um, I got this product at a discount from the seller to provide an honest and unbiased review. And honestly, the materials are ABS. Really, really hard ABS. But you can see that it is a, uh, like injection molded ABS. It, it is actually really high quality. This shit. This snaps together really, really well. As you can see, there's just little snaps on the there and back here. There's little snaps. And it snaps together really well. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Okay. 
fans getting in the way. Damn you, fan. Quit being in the way. Okay, so, there we go. So it's nice and snapped together, and then you have your single screw to hold the case together right here so it can't just pop apart because all you have to do is push up and it falls apart but honestly it's really not that bad it does come with all the hardware you need all the screws and the little rubber feet so it won't slide around and some additional heat sinks which is kind of cool because i might want I might just go ahead and put one of the little ones on the uh, EMCC down here and on the RAM because fuck it, why not? Um, so let me get this thing together and let's see how it looks. Alright, so as you can see, I have my racing stripes in there. So we just take this and set it right up against the edge there. There we go. I put a little seller tape on here to protect the battery leads from this heat sink. And I put a heat sink on the RAM and one down here on the memory because I have it, so why not? So now all I need to do is throw some screws in this and solder on two wires right here for, I uh, do believe it's right there, focus, yeah, well no, sorry it's on this side, yeah, so these two pins right there, the square one's ground and the round one's five volts, so I'm just going to raise them up so I can plug the fan into it. That's it. And as you can see, the case fits nicely. So let me orient it the right way. And snap, snap together. Well. And then just got to put a, the screw in to the hole here to hold it together. And as you can see, it is clipped in everywhere else. So, quite literally, hook up the fan, and this thing is ready to rock. I'm going to power, I'm going to put the power cord through uh, one of these holes, and yeah, that's about it. Hell, might even be able to cut that out a little bit and just slide it through there anyways hopefully hopefully you like this video if you did please give me a like if you dislike the video like it anyways anyways i do this monday wednesday and friday every week occasionally i'll do a video tuesday thursday or saturday um most of those are tutorial related on these guys, how to install Minecraft server and uh, stuff like that. My eyeball itches. Ah, Steve's wooden sword really helps. Anyways, um, yeah. So if you like it, like it. If you dislike it, like it. And if you really like it, subscribe because I do this for fun but all this stuff costs me money and I'm just really trying to build this little YouTube channel up so yeah anyways have a good day bye for everybody that was curious like I was, how loud this fan is, here you go. I have it simply just wired up via 
USB to my monitor. So, and it's been slowly ramping up. This is the loudest it's got.